Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to run your server in debug mode. So to run the AM server in debug mode, we have to use a concept called remote debugging. Usually whenever we run any kind of Java server, we have to start remote debugging for enabling the uh, debugging so that the server can be connected to your ID. So you will be able to get these steps usually for Eclipse and uh, IntelliJ. Today I am going to show the complete step in the VS Code. So I have I have downloaded here AM SDK that is the cloud SDK and the same step can be followed for the AM standalone jar file as well. So I will take this AM SDK file. I will put it in my AM instance folder cloud SDK. I have created an author folder. It is a good practice to create an author folder so that later if you want, you can separate separately. You can create a publish folder as well to run your publish server as well. I put it here. I have extracted the folder and here and even I have renamed the my AM server jar that is AM SDK jar to AM author P4502. So this is a uh, standard naming convention to start your AM server with localhost 4502 URL. So your port name can be provided as P4502 and the author mode or publish mode can be provided at here. That is a author mode. So here is the AM documentation URL where they have mentioned about how what is the command to start the AM in debug mode. This is the command I have actually already started my AM server with the same command. If you see here, this is the command. I have changed the uh, my jar file name and even I have changed the size of the VM as well. So by default, they have as part of the example, they have provided 512 MB, but I have provided 1024 MB so that it can uh, easily start and uh, without any lag. lag. Uh, you can increase up to two. 2048 as well that will be 2 GB uh, basically this is an uh, assigned RAM space for our AIM instance once you run this you will be asked for a uh, admin password you can give super security password like admin admin and once this particular step is completed your AIM server will be up and running so your AIM server will be running in the local host 4502 which is the standard mode. However, internally it will have a debug mode that will run in the debug port that we have provided here, 8000. So with 8000, we can access the debugging capabilities of AEM and with 4502, it will be still continue as a standard mode. Okay. So I have opened here and uh, I did not have any folder. So I created any, uh, I created a project as well. That is our AEM guides weekend. Uh, let me go to the folder. Yeah, and I have run this particular command. You can run mvn clean install hyphen p auto install package, or you can run this command to deploy your first project to AM instance. So in the terminal, if I go, okay, sorry, not in the terminal. Yeah, here in the this is my last command. I have added hyphen d skip test so that I can skip the test because this is my first project and there is an, none of the test I wanted to run and uh, I wanted to deploy uh, the first project to my AM instance. Once I deployed my project, it appeared here as the US EN and it will have only few projects, I think few pages, one or two that is US and EN and I opened in edit mode. This is the edit mode capability of the project and it's just a basic project so there is nothing much it is here this is the published mode and ha huh, so this is the published mode then this is a servlet url that is getting called so we are going to debug this particular server servlet uh, by enabling the debugging mode so as i mentioned we have already started our uh, debug mode with uh, 8 8000 port sorry uh, here 8000 port so we will uh, will do the debugging mode in our vs code i am using currently vs code 
you can do the same thing in IntelliJ and Eclipse. However, the process will be a little different comparing to the specific, uh, these are specific to the IDE. So in Eclipse, you can just uh, uh, install the plugin AEM plugin where you can just enable the debug mode by providing a port. Uh, all the that plugin itself will have the information to put uh, the details and same that same follows for the IntelliJ as well. But for VS Code, currently I, I have not got any plugin. So what you have to do, you have to click on this debug mode file. So once you click on this debug mode file, so let me stop my debugging, then I'll disconnect. So for example, add configuration means, uh, yeah. So when you go to this particular debug mode, you will have an option called uh, create a launch.json file. So basically this is the file. So when you click on that, this particular file will be generated. In this file, you might have a different information here, uh, but I would uh, strongly recommend you can fill this. Okay. So there are some information will be there like type name. Uh, request will be provided and there will be, there'll be a file name is also will be provided which is so this particular step is actually uh, by default whatever the file will be appearing that should be taken only for the core java main method debugging but in our case we are going to debug a server url that's where we have to modify this particular file launch json file these are the information you can provide where the type will be Java. That's where we are telling this is a Java programming debugging. And the name, you can provide anything, whatever the name will be provided that will appear here. Then you have to put a request that is attached. Uh, it will be by default will be there. Host name will be uh, localhost because we are going to debug to our localhost. You can actually remotely debug a server as well, like your dev one server, dev, stays, publish, any kind of server also you can debug uh, using this particular feature. Then the port will be 8000. Remember, you cannot provide 4502. Your port has to be 8000 or whichever port you have provided as part of your debug command where the address equal to the value, whatever you have provided, that has to be provided here. Project name is optional, but uh, you can provide. Uh, it is better to provide so that it, the debug will have the information about the project name whenever it is showing for multiple debugging purpose multiple project if there are it can always show the specific project information also for which project it is currently being debugged okay uh, the project name you can provide the project uh, this particular name am guides weekend in my case so the same you can continue so once you do this uh, save the file i would suggest save the file in the root directory that will be somewhere here so the time you will save save the file automatically it will create a dot vs code folder and inside that it will be creating launch.json and as part of the launch.json uh, this is going to be starting in the debug mode so whenever you wanted to go to the debug mode debugging mode in the vs code you can uh, press ctrl shift d automatically it will come to the debugging mode and you can uh, start here. This is the start button. You can click on the start button. Automatically, the debugging will be appearing. Once the debugging appears, you will get this particular window, small window, which is actually the breakpoint controller. So I am putting it little right because all my file name will be appearing here. So I'll just put it little down. Okay. Now what we are going to do? So this is basically I am showing only the Java debugging. Uh, I'm not showing anything related to JavaScript debugging. JavaScript debugging can be done in the uh, browser itself. You can try in the browser if you want. Or if you want to have a uh, Node.js or any uh, JavaScript debugging here, you can use the respective uh, method as well. But this is uh, what I am currently showing. It is specific to Java debugging only. I'm going to close the uh, launch.json. I don't need uh, any more. Then yeah i have already shown this these are all the command whatever has been already added as part of the readme you can always refer to deploy your first project to your AM instance server that you can follow so i'll close this also i don't need so i'm currently opening hello world model and simple servlet so when you are creating your first project there are, there will be some sample core file that will be generated like hello world model servlet there will be a simple servlet and 
for, for all those core packages, there will be one one file that will be generated. You can use them to refer or you can uh, modify them as per your requirement. So here I am going to use the simple servlet Java. So this is actually a servlet. You can refer to this code as to create your new servlet also. So this servlet is created as if you see the servlet name is simple servlet. It extend to sling safe method servlet. So there is two types of servlet. One is sling safe method, another is sling all method. So here it is uh, extends to safe method. This means it can implement do get and only the safe method related where get is one of the safe method. Uh, which are not safe method post put delete those are not part of safe method so for that we have to extend here so this is related to the servlet i won't go much detail so as part of this particular do get method what it is trying to do so here there is a request response from the request it is trying to get resource it is trying to get the resource path from the request and once it got the uh, resource information, uh, then what it is trying, ah, sorry, from the request, it is going to get a complete resource, not even path, the complete resource, the node as a resource, it will get it. And once it gets the resource, uh, we are preparing the response set content type is text dot text class plane. That means we are going to send the HTML text. We are not going to send any XML or JSON data. And response dot get writer. We are going to write the information within the response object. That is title equal to resource dot get value map dot get this here content dot this here title. Basically, what we are trying, we are trying to get the resource title. If there is any information related to this here title within that resource, we are going to print that resource, or, or we are going to write that information into our response, and we are returning that response. Okay. Now, a uh, little more information. That this is actually a servlet. If you see, uh, there is a add component class is required. And when we can tell this as a servlet, when the service is equal to annotated with the service attribute with servlet.class. If you see, this servlet.class is actually comes from javax.servlet, which is actually the servlet concept of the Java. Okay. Then we need one more annotation that is link servlet resource type. Currently, this servlet is tied to a resource type. Uh, a servlet can be tied to a resource type and even resource path. So as part of this, uh, this uh, servlet is tied to the WKND component space. It is tied to a page component. This means any page created using WKND page component, basically every page will be created because that, that will be the basic page. And for every page, if we are making a get method request, automatically we will be able to get the title of that particular page. Okay. And remember to get this to hit this particular servlet, it is not going to accept directly. There is one more uh, information we have to provide that is the extension already has been provided here. That means we have to provide something called dot txt dot. This means this is kind of an uh, extension or the selector we have to provide in the URL to hit this particular servlet. And this servlet won't be called for every page just with the URL. You have it has to validate with all of these criteria, then only it is going to be called. Now let me go to our page. Now if we see dot txt dot abc, we will try whether it will work or not. It doesn't work. Okay, dot json. Does it work? No. Dot html. Does it work? Yes. So remember, the extension also depends on the .html also. Most likely, you have to provide some kind of this way. Let me try to change this .txt, whether it will work or not. Ah, it doesn't work. Okay. So I'll go back. Ah, this is the when we are hitting this particular url if you see that title equal to then all the information related to that particular resource is being printed okay the same thing whatever it is written resource dot get value map it is trying to get all the value map details including the jca title most likely the jca title information related uh, details is going to write into this particular title string append 
and it will return that uh, whole string okay this is what we are we are currently getting now let's uh, start in debug mode I'll debug okay now it is in the debug mode when i will reload this particular page the control will go here uh, in my case uh, if you see this is actually blinking my vs code most likely if you hover it will come here okay now the control is stopped here if you see because i have put a breakpoint remember you have to keep putting the breakpoint in your uh, java class then only it will come and stop here you have if you click here somewhere then this red button will be appearing red dot will be appearing they will act like a breakpoint so if you see here till here my request came it stopped here now as part of the request you can open the request and see the details the request information are getting printed here also however what is not available in the vs code as of now what i see if i hover on the resource if you see it shows me resource related this particular object related standard mode uh, feature only it is not showing the resource details which is uh, currently is being shown in the variable section only if i click here in the resource path resource type all these information i am able to see but i cannot see on hover of the resource which is you are getting in eclipse or IntelliJ. if you hover on any of the variable it will show the information then and there only however here you have to rely on the variable section to see any of the information related to this particular object uh, i'll go to the next line so if you see the path is content wkd us en jcr content and the resource type is wkd component space and because the resource type is wkd component space that's where this particular servlet has been hit based on this particular resource type okay any other information i don't see any details we need as of now because we just have an empty page so i won't go any other i'm, I'm not going to debug any other relate uh, variables so I'll just go to next step. That will be the next line. Response dot get writer. Here the response uh, is being prepared with the text slash plain is the response type. And I'll go one more next. Then if I go next, it is going to end. Uh, it is actually going inside the sling set method. You can go inside the extended class or basically the dependent classes as well. Uh, you can hover and get more information about it but i'm going to continue here my break mark. once i continue i'll come back here now my information is provided okay maybe you might be assuming it was already there so what we have done in the breakpoint okay i'll go from i'll cut it here i'll close this tab close this tab yeah even this is a blog url you can refer to uh, start your uh, VS code in debug mode. I'll, I'll leave all these URL uh, resources in the description. So let me put this. If I go to this particular page, right? See, it is not loaded yet. The response has been not loaded yet. And my VS code is keep blinking. If you see here, my VS code is keep blinking in a redis little red color. Now, if I go here, my break, uh, the control will come here and it will stop here because I put a breakpoint here. Now, if I go next, 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 I'm not going more. I'm just continuing. If I go back, then this will be printed. Okay. Uh, this is the way you can always uh, track your uh, debug your uh, Java code. Uh, if if you find this video helpful. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, comment uh, any for details that you would like to improve or if you need any more uh, detailed video video on any of the concept i would uh, try to make video on those particular specific uh, topic and uh, put your uh, feedback also in the comment section so that it will help me to improve the video as well thank you